So today we are uh, going to see something about unified process. So till now we have seen some of the other processes uh, for software development. This is also one of the uh, process we can say uh, it is very much uh, useful when uh, our development is based on object oriented model. Okay, So it is started uh, with the object oriented modeling when uh, in 90s what was happening we all were moving towards C++ and trying to understand more on object oriented concepts and there uh, it came in picture we call it UML. This UML is unified modeling language. So this unified modeling language Okay, so this unified modeling language helps us uh, in modeling our concepts in software development phases in a particular way. Okay, so basically this language will have uh, your diagrams, several diagrams are there, uh, maybe object diagram, class diagram or um, other kind of system level diagrams are there which will help you in uh, representing your designs in a way which could be unified. Unified means which could be understandable to all the others and not only the professionals but the normal users who are not much aware of uh, the system development they can also understand from that particular diagram. So such simple diagrams uh, are uh, available as UML unified modeling language and uh, we will also understand later on uh, in design phase we have to see UML diagrams also for now what we are understanding is this unified modeling language we always understand that uh, uh, there will be multiple engineers multiple developers I should say uh, which are working right means one after another maybe one was working he may left the uh, he may have left the company and now the another engineer is joining so if the earlier engineer has documented using a particular language which language is universal a language which is being used by all the people all the engineers in that case the documents written in this particular language is not a big deal for the new engineer to understand right so keeping these things in mind they are say they are talking about uh, whatever we will do we will uh, use unified modeling language and we will develop a software uh, using these process and we will call it a unified process okay so in this unified process what will happen we already know that uh, those things which are required, they are required. You will have to communicate to the um, uh, customer, you will have to perform certain planning, you will have to design and those calls, you will have to construct, you will have to test and then uh, you will have to deploy. <coughs> These are the phases which are required, right? Now the only thing is how these are the things which are uh, going on, right? First of all, it was inception, it is uh, dark, but it is inception. There is an inception phase. So this in inception phase, it has also communication and planning. Okay. So in this phase, what happens? We will have to communicate along with that uh, concurrently planning may also be going. So you will be talking to the customer, understanding the requirements along with the gathering of requirement you will be making the uh, plans also the schedules also all those uh, uh, tentative outlines for major subsystems and functions and features uh, all those things you will be doing here so in this inception phase after inception phase there will be elaboration phase which will combine planning phase along with modeling phase in waterfall model what was happening after 
planning is all complete, we start modeling and once we start modeling, we do not come back to planning. Here it is a combination of planning and modeling where we continuously plan as well as start the modeling also. Okay. So, modeling activities, uh, uh, whatever they are, we will uh, uh, design requirement model, design model, implementation model, maybe deployment model, all those models we will um, have and uh, along with that, we will also um, uh, give a final touch to our planning that uh, now the models have been uh, finalized and we are uh, trying to understand according to the model what should be the plan and uh, what are the associated risks and those all the things. Okay? After proper modeling and this I should say inception and elaboration phase is complete, we come towards construction phase and we understand what happens in construction phase. It is similar where we um, actually write the code and try to understand uh, whether it is correct or not right so let me come back so here uh, in construction phase we construct the software okay make it operational and then we test it for testing you usually here we also have a transition phase so you understand okay let me say that construction phase is related to construction of the software, we will try to develop a final version of uh, the software according to the requirement given, right? And then we will start, uh, we call it testing. So, suppose uh, here when you have constructed it, then it is a requirement that you will test it. So, so now here you have performed certain unit testing and integration testing, this kind of testing you have performed here while construction. And then this is transition, transition towards deployment. So this transition, this transition phase incorporates deployment as well as construction. Construction, what parts of construction? The testing part, right? So in this transition phase, what happens? you try to deploy it and at the same time test also what are the certain there are certain tests which you do in this phase after unit and the integration testing there are certain maybe alpha testing beta testing are there such kind of things uh, means you should understand that after unit and integration the system is ready to be tested so the system as a whole is being tested and while the testing it might be deployed also and after deployment, uh, uh, some of the tests may be uh, run also. After this particular transition phase, your final product is uh, ready. Maybe I should say the increment is ready. Then this is in production phase. Okay. In this production phase, what happens? Deployment activities um, may also be uh, taking place, but here you have uh, already uh, a final release. So, let me uh, repeat it, the deployment activities may also be uh, there and uh, it will the, uh, the system which is running now, it will be monitored and uh, means a support will be given that uh, this particular software should keep on working uh, nicely. Okay? Maybe if uh, certain uh, defects occur, some uh, faults are there then all those things can be noted down and later on a feedback can be given to the development team so that they can uh, work on those uh, faults. So this is uh, here what we have learned there are these phases inception, elaboration, construction, transition and production. So, it was not uh, that these all the processes uh, will run one after another and uh, not also that inception phase, elaboration phase and after that construction will do, no. It may happen at the same time we may be working in construction phase also, transition phase also and production is also okay. After one increment production will keep on working always. So, uh, we may be working in all the three uh, this thing 
phases. So, uh, this is not uh, similar to those of uh, other processes. Here you can understand it that uh, the software development may be in these three process, these fa three phases uh, at the same time concurrently. So, uh, this is what uh, we understand in unified process. Okay, here we are talking about uh, workflow which identifies the tasks required. Okay, so, we understand that what was happening in workflow activities, we whatever the total work was there we try to uh, divide it into a smaller tasks. Okay, so, you can consider it as task set. Okay. So, it actually identifies the tasks required, required for what? To accomplish uh, uh, mm, the whole software, okay. to develop the whole software. So, uh, maybe it will have all the important activities of the software engineering process. Okay and uh, definitely be in a sequential manner after whose execution the complete product will be uh, deliverable. Okay? So, this was something about uh, unified process. Now, uh, after this we will try to start our agile methodology. Thank you.